Hello friends. In honor of all the superhero movies out there, I decided to do a cape waving in the wind tutorial in 3D Studio Max. Just keep in mind that it is important to follow the order of operations as best you can for optimal results. Now here is our rigged hero made from parts of that studio. He doesn't have a name, so if you want to give him a name, you can add it to the comments below and we'll vote on the best name later. Now the first step is I'm going to change the default shading to clay to make it easier to view. Next is to make sure the cape is attached to the body of the character. If you link it to the mesh, nothing happens. So hide the mesh until you see the bone ringing. Then click on the select and link and link the cape to the bone. Unhide everything. If you move the bone handles, the cape moves with it. Now select the cape. Go to the modifier list and select cloth modifier. Select object properties. Select the cape and change it from inactive to cloth. Keep the default settings. Back to add object. Select the hero body. Click collision object. Click OK. Click on the cape and back to cloth. Scroll down and make sure self collision is detected and set it to two. Keep in mind it will take longer to render with these settings. Now we have to attach the top of the cape to the character. So go to cloth in the modifier panel, then click group. The vertices of the cape appear. Hold control to select the vertices at the top of the cape. Select make group. A group is created and is set to unassigned. Select surface and click on the hero mesh. The group went from unassigned to surface to hero body. Now click back on cloth and click simulate local to see if it works. It might take some time to see the results. Click it again to stop the simulation. You can press reset state and have the cape return to its original form. Now let's add the wind. Go to the create panel, space warps, and select wind. Place the wind icon on the screen. The size of the icon doesn't matter, only the direction it's pointing at. Click on the wind in the modifier panel. Set the strength to 15. And for turbulence, set it to 1.4 and frequency to 1.2 to simulate how real wind works. Now click on the cape. Go back to the cloth, then click on cloth forces. A new screen pops up. It will show the wind in forces and scene. Click on the arrow to place it in forces and simulation. Click OK. Now click on bind to space warp on top. Then click the wind icon to the cape. Now click on the cape, then click in cloth, and then click simulate local to test. It may take a few minutes to see the results. Now that you can see that it is producing results, the last step is to add animation to our character so the cape can animate with the motion of the character. Once the animation is added, click on simulate button to make sure the cape and wind is interacting properly with the character. This is a long process that will take several minutes to complete.
Once the process is done, you can scroll through the timeline and the Cape Motion has been saved. Now you can add cameras and lights to your scene and render out the animation. If you like this tutorial, hit subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.